police investigating when one of their own was struck on the back of the head with a blunt force object while directing game day traffic Saturday. Yeah, we told you that unprovoked attack sending the officer uh, to the hospital. His injury serious, thankfully, though, not life threatening. The officer's name, B.K. Harden. Now, police now attempting to get some answers about this act of violence. WATE 6 on your side reporter Laura Holm joins us live at the site of the attack. 17th and Clinch with the very latest, and there is some new information, Laura. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we stepped out of the press conference that they had at the Knoxville Police Department just about 30 minutes ago. That's where we learned a little bit more about what happened on Saturday right around here at 17th and Clinch Avenue. I want to walk you through what happened and then give you the latest information. So Officer Harden was down here directing traffic and there were lots of cars. And according to investigators, uh, a young man, they believe in his 20s, came up behind Officer Harden and hit him in the back of the head with some kind of a hammer or some kind of a blunt object. From there, investigators say that this gentleman ran away the opposite direction. He ran west on Clinch. Uh, a couple of witnesses have come forward and spoken with KPD officers and shared as much as they know about the suspect and what they saw. Uh, thankfully, there was an off-duty out-of-county first responder who jumped in to help Officer Harden by providing first aid. So as of today, what we've learned, according to the Knoxville Police Department, is that right now they're still needing your help. If you happen to be out and around in this area on Saturday after the game and you may have seen something, if you have a cell phone video, pictures, anything, as minimal as it may seem, they want you to come forward and reach out to them. Your tips can be anonymous. They're also using um, surveillance cameras from around this area. We've got University Towers right behind me. We've got the Ronald McDonald House. So a lot is happening. Here's what Chief Thomas has to say about how Officer Harding is doing today. For the best news of the day, we are pleased to report that Officer Harden has made tremendous progress and was just released from the hospital. Due to his continued recovery, it is expected to be a couple of months before he will be able to return to full duty. One thing that I really want to emphasize is that this event absolutely does not reflect the Knoxville community that we are proud to protect. Now, sometime this afternoon, the FBI reached out to KPD and they are taking part by um, issuing a $5,000 reward for information on the identity, arrest and conviction of the suspect who hit Officer Harden in the back of the head. Um, again, if you happen to know anything or see anything from that day on Saturday, let Knoxville police know. For now, reporting live in Knoxville, Laura Holm, WATE 6 on your side. Laura, thank you so much, and we will keep following this story as we learn more about this attack, and hopefully someone yeah. who saw something will come forward and call KPD. And as Laura mentioned, it can be just one little detail. If yeah. you saw just some, uh, something, it can definitely help out officers mm -hmm. in their investigation.